Good afternoon, everyone. It is David Schlothauer here, and I'm proud to present you all my December 2022 outlook of this upcoming month that is just around the corner. Merry early Christmas. Happy holidays to you all that are just tuning in. If you're new, I welcome you to join me in our December 2022 outlook. So the question is, what is it going to look like for December? Well, our first pit stop is our December 2022 temperature anomaly forecast. And this shows you all that there is going to be a 33 to 50% chance for temperatures that are going to be above average for the month of December. This does not mean you're going to see above average temperatures, but the chances of temperatures being above average are slightly higher than, say, below average temperatures, such as like the northern tier of the United States, you have a 33 to 40 to 50% chance of temperatures being below average for the month of December. Equal chances all the way from Michigan, all the way across Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, stretching across portions of Nevada and California, such as the northern tier, looks to have equal chances as far as those temperatures go. This is pretty uh, consistent with our climate prediction forecast that I'm about to show you towards the end of the video from the Climate uh, Prediction Center showing a similar scenario. Due to the fact that we have a strong La Nina, the, the Christ girl, that is impacting our global weather pattern here in the United States. As far as your December 2022 precipitation forecast, it is looking pretty dry, unfortunately, for the four corners, such as Arizona, if you're in New Mexico, if you're in Southern California, Southern Nevada, Southern portion there of Utah, you have a 40 to 50% chance for seeing precipitation below average. If you are in Tennessee, if you're in Missouri, if you are in the central high plains, you have equal chances. If you're in the extreme northeast, equal chances. But if you want to see a lot of rain or snow this winter, well, you got to go into the Great Lakes. That's where you're going to find above average chances for rainfall or snowfall, depending on your geographical location. If you are in the Pacific Northwest and the northern tier of the United States, you're leaning above as far as your rainfall or snowfall goes. Rainfall for the lower elevations where it's not cold enough and snowfall for the higher elevations and the higher um, terrain where it's going to be colder. So now that we looked at your temperatures and we looked at your precipitation forecast, let's take a look at that overall forecast. And remember, all of these maps that I created here, this map, this map, and this map are all handcrafted by me. So I'm blessed and I'm able to do this for you all. So yeah, it took me a lot of time, but we got through it, right? So your December 2022 impact forecast is as follows. Warm and dry conditions for portions of the deep south as well as the southern portion of the desert southwest. We're going to look at mild conditions over California and Nevada with drier than normal conditions there. So mild, dry kind of deal that is going to be setting up. If you are in northernmost California, looking at damp conditions, cold and wet, and mountain snows, if you're in the Pacific Northwest, as well as Idaho, portions of Montana and Colorado, you're looking at some uh, mountain snowfall that is anticipated. If you are in, say, central and eastern Tennessee, cold and wet conditions, that will also include for the extreme portion there of New England, as well as the mid-Atlantic coast, you're looking at cold and wet conditions, but there's a battle zone. Warm and wet conditions to the south, cold and wintry-like temperatures to the north will mean there will be severe weather all the way portions of, say, central Texas into central portion there of Oklahoma, stretching into Arkansas, northern Louisiana, and portions of Mississippi, you're going to see se severe weather. This includes a potential for tornadoes, damaging winds, and some large hail events. We're, this does not mean you will see it, but there is potential impacts that could come to fruition in this area. To the north, cold, 
Arctic blast, brutal cold Arctic air. I mean, brutal means we're gonna have temperatures likely below zero for an extended period of time, possibly as cold as negative 15, negative 20 degrees in those areas. Lake effect snows in bright pink if you are in Michigan, if you are in northern Wisconsin, as well as northern and northeastern Ohio. If you are in, um, say, um, Erie, Pennsylvania, you have the threat for lake effect snows, including for Watertown and B Buffalo, New York. Snowy conditions there for the rest of New York, but notice... There's no nor'easters here. That's going to wait until probably January. So when I make my monthly forecast for January, you'll probably see um, the threat for very heavy snow. We could see nor'easters, damaging winds, that sort of deal. And if you are in southern Georgia and the Carolinas, you are looking at wet conditions as well. So if you don't like the rain, the snow, or the brutal cold temperatures, why not go to California or Arizona and portions of Texas where you'll find warmer temperatures. So now let's take a look at your monthly temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. So this is pretty similar than uh, what I have here, not far off at all. And just remember, my opinion is different than the Climate Prediction Center. So please understand that. No hate, no gain if you do, right? Everyone has their own opinion. I mean, possibly even Tyler Bass or maybe Candy or Fancy Hippie or Fire Ant. They are my super loyal viewers, including all of you that watch my videos, though, but they are very close to me. I've known them for a while. They probably have their own opinion on my forecast. Not everyone's perfect. So looking at those temperature uh, anomalies, uh, chances again for the deep south, for the southeast, again, slightly above average, a little bit below average for the northern tier. When we take a look at our precipitation forecast here for December, again, on the Climate Prediction Center, leaning above there for the Pacific Northwest, um, including for portions of the Northern Plains with below average chances of rainfall um, for the Deep South, including for the Southeast. But equal chances do extend there over the Appalachians, the Ozarks, including for the Tennessee Valley. So it looks good for some of you that like the snow or say you like the colder temperatures. It little on the warmer than normal side it looks like for December but at least not going to be drier than normal so you're going to get a fair amount of chances here and seen hopefully in average December as far as precipitation goes all right well that is going to cut it for this video I hope you all enjoyed it if you did please make sure you slap the subscribe button you guys are really awesome I love you guys so much let me know what you're doing for tomorrow. What are your plans for your Sunday? Let me know in the comment section below. And what is your favorite season? Let me know in the comment section below this video as well. Be sure to check out our Weather Force Discord server. All those links, everything you need to know about me, my social medias are all in the description below this video. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in to my December 2022 uh, forecast. I do appreciate it. And I'll be back with you more tomorrow, taking a look at our severe weather setup coming up this in the middle of this week, which looks to be pretty substantial. Thank you all for watching. Be back with you more tomorrow.